Can't breathe. What are you doing? Huh. What are you doing? What I had, and so far it doesn't smell very good, so I'm going to try to spice it up somehow. I got some lemon in it and some flowers. Um, some almond extract, some vanilla extract, and I don't know, something about it just smells off, so I'm going to try to find something different. She came back. There her is. There's a big white mean dog that lives up there. And even though it's up the road, if you cross up there, it's really, like, right across the street, basically. And last time that she got out freely, she went down to that dog's house, and it chased her down here, and they got in a big fight, and it's mean towards people, dogs, cars, everybody. Like, it's just a mean dog, and it's a big Great Pyrenees, and so... It's really one you don't want to mess with. So whenever she goes up that way, I get really nervous because I don't want it to follow her back down here. Oh. 
I got the boys out and Tessie went over there. Hi Tessie. Tessie. Oh no, she's leaving the yard again. If it follows her, I can get up in there really fast and grab these two by their harnesses. Oh, there she is. She's back again. And here's the chickens. I know it looks like a disaster, but it's been snowy and muddy and gross. We had one die not long ago. You guys need water again. They keep trying to take the lid off of their food thingy. Like they won't just stick their heads in it. They just want to knock the lid off of it. All right. for the day. Fair vanilla cashmere. And it is plush patchouli, vanilla orchid, and all wrapped up in bare vanilla. And I don't usually like patchouli or like too earthy or florally. Like I'm a gourmand lover at heart, but I do really like this one. It's really pretty and the patchouli is not too much. It's just really pretty. Especially because you can still smell the bare vanilla in it and their vanilla is just, I mean, it's so good. There's a reason it's been around for so long. It's just so good. And this one is just like a prettier, girlier version of it. I think I'm going to go through the stuff in the bathroom sometime today and clean up these shelves and stuff in the sink because it really needs it. Like, one thing that really sucks about our house is it's so old and we don't have central air so there's not really much airflow and dust builds up really really fast and it's so annoying because we have so much stuff in such a big house I just don't have time to dust everything like every day and so sometimes it builds up and it's so hard to keep up with and then I burn a lot of candles and stuff too and it gets like the black soot stuff everywhere and sometimes we have marks so I just don't even know where they come from. Like this, I don't even know where this came from because we just redid this bathroom not long ago. Like, what is that? Where did it come from? And why is it there? Now it's just another wall I have to scrub and I just can't keep up. And sometimes it gets really hard. Like, have you ever felt so overwhelmed by something that you just don't do anything? That's what happens to me sometimes is there's just so much to do and then... I just, I don't want to do any of it because I don't even know where to start. I have been loving lately is the Bath and Body Shampoo and Conditioner. And I did not expect to like this as much as I do. I mostly bought it for the scent. But it 
actually works amazing. Like, it works so good. I even had psoriasis on my scalp come up for a little bit due to some health problems. And it actually helped to clear it up. Like, nothing was working, and that actually helped. I don't know why, but for some reason, my scalp did not clear up until I started using that. My hair started feeling better. Like, I don't know what Bath & Body Works is doing with their shampoo and conditioner, but it works fantastic in my hair. Also, another favorite that I've been using is the Sol de Janeiro oil. And, um, I haven't got the hair mask yet, but I have been using the oil and the leave-in conditioner. And I will be getting a bigger size in this because I really love these. My hair, I hadn't washed it in so long because I'm trying to keep the dye in because my hair fades really fast. So I haven't washed it in a long time and it was feeling really ratty and greasy and dry. Like dry and greasy at the same time, but you know, that dry, dirty feeling. But now I put the Bath and Body Works on it and I put the salt hair on it and I was able to brush through it like no problem. Which once my hair gets tangled is usually really hard, so love them. I will be using that all the time. Another Bath and Body Works favorite that I've been having lately is surprisingly their tanning mist. Not that I thought it would be bad, but I did not think that it was going to be as good as it is. But I actually really like it. Like, you almost have to be careful how much you use because it will get you really dark really fast. Eye shampoo usually makes my hair greasier and nastier than it was before, but I actually kind of like this living proof one. It's not bad. So this is the fit I wore tonight. Very just comfy and cozy because I just went to go and watch my daughter's martial arts class. So I never get really dressed up to go there. Peanut butter in this powdered peanut butter, but I don't know if I'm going to this time because I don't know how it will taste with dragon fruit. But I might drink part of it and then like put some peanut butter in and see how it tastes. So this is the fit tonight that I wore because we didn't really go a whole lot. We just went to my daughter's martial arts class and then I sit there for an hour and then we come home. So I usually go pretty comfy there. And I can't remember where I got either one of these two things because it's been so long. But I did get my boots from um, Sheen or Timu, one of the two. new package from Boss Up Cosmetics today and I got this little lip scrubber brush that I'm excited to use but my favorite thing and the reason I really got it was for this. Not only is the packaging just gorgeous and the product itself is also because it's all glittery but it's supposed to change colors when you put it on your lips. So, we're going to try it out. I'll move it once I put it on, but I can't put it on one-handed. So pretty. So it's not like a really intense color, but I like it because I don't really put intense colors on my lips anyway. They just don't work for me. So I kind of like what this is doing.
I think it changed a little bit. Yeah, I can see it change. I like it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 